New at 9, as the Omicron variant continues to spread around the state, the increase in COVID-related hospitalizations continues to add a huge strain on Central Arkansas's health care community. And the ripple effects are being felt by people calling 911 needing an ambulance. Our Andrew Epperson is live in Little Rock with how long some people have had to wait for an ambulance and with at least one possible solution. We certainly do want to hear it. Well, UAMS thinks the quickest solution could be adding more hospital beds with demand sky high right now, Donna. And they think that it could also help people here at MIMS with ambulance drivers being able to get where they need to be without delay. Therefore, uh, they're still waiting for units to come available. With all the emergency calls coming in during the Omicron spike, ambulances in central Arkansas are having trouble keeping up, leading to delays. And for they still have no unit to dispatch. The problem's only getting worse for MEMS first responders in Little Rock. Those trucks that should be able to turn in just a few minutes and go back out to be available for 911 calls are tied up in that hospital. Records we have obtained show instances where some people are waiting more than 20 minutes for an ambulance. In at least one case, it took so long the patient found another way to get to the hospital. But UAMS says it has a solution, opening 27 new COVID-19 rooms trying to keep up with higher demand. It, it's a strain because we're asking our our staff to do more. People waiting on an ambulance will likely be delayed getting medical attention even if they make it inside. Emergency room wait times have jumped. I do think we're going to be dealing with that uh, as long as the hospitals are, are full. UAMS Dr. Steppy Meta says with more beds open, the smoother the rest of the health care community will run. But it's hard to say. I, I don't think there's a simple solution, honestly. MEMS Executive Director Greg Thompson says he hopes more hospitals continue increasing capacity because the strain's felt every day. We have not seen it at levels like this until now. The UMS already paid for those hospital beds, but they've applied through the American Rescue Plan Act to be reimbursed for them. The total, more than $4 million. Live in Little Rock, Andrew Epperson, Fox 16 News.